Welcome to another episode of Go Arkansas. I'm your host, Naya Stewart. In this episode, we will talk with the staff at TAS, the Teen Action Support Center about their organization and how they impact teens in their community. Next, we'll hear from Sherry Tolliver, a Fort Smith historian who shares with us knowledge and events about Black History Month. Lastly, we'll connect with Clyde Fenton and learn about the dairy industry from an expert in a dairy farm in NWA. All of this is happening on Go Arkansas. TASC is an organization that has been around for almost 20 years, helping teenagers transition into adulthood. They have multiple locations in NWA and host many events through the year to help teens prepare for a bright and successful future. TASC was founded in 2005 by a group of individuals in the community who felt the need for there to be something for teens. Um, and at that time, there wasn't anything for teens, and so they created Teen Action and Support Center. We started about 17 years ago um, as an organization to help fill the gap between children and adulthood. There's a huge gap for teens, just in general, teen services. TASC is a nonprofit for teens centered out of Northwest Arkansas. Our mission is to empower teens to take action within their own lives and the community at large. We have five different programs designed to hopefully meet teens at any stage they may be in in their lives currently. My first in encounter with TASC was back in 2020 when I interned. Um, I interned as the education and resource. When I first started, I was helping with first steps and, the, um, and a program called The Closet, which is we have donations of clothing that we uh, have here available to teens who may be resource insecure. We've seen lots of teens come through our doors and some enter through arts and culture, through the art projects and connect with local artists. We've also seen some that um, come through our First Steps program and so they're pregnant or maybe they have small children and we're able to really support them in their journey of making sure that they graduate from high school and then they're able to go on and achieve their dreams but they have the support and guidance of someone just kind of leading them through the way. And our mission is to empower teens and so that really can look like anything. It can look like helping them with housing, it can look like empowerment through art, it can look like mental health services, which we offer, and it can, you know, we do life skills, one-on-one, um, -on -one, like mentoring, so really it's just whatever teens need. We do now have three locations across NWA. We do have our uh, Springdale Teen Center, which is the hub for all of the Washington County activities. This here is our uh, Benton County Teen Center called The Hub. And then separately, we have our counseling office, which we like to keep apart from the other programs just to keep it a little more meditative and therapeutic of a space. The reality is that transitioning into adulthood doesn't have a specific rule book. Like, there's not like an actual guide. And so we try to be that guide for them as much as we can. Well, we have a lot of teens who come in who are low income, who don't come from backgrounds where maybe they don't have access to technology that they may need for school or like certain materials. And so we are here for that purpose. Um, I've been involved in nonprofit work for over 20 years and um, I love it. It's um, rewarding, it's fulfilling, you get to see a lot of change. Sometimes not always immediate or overnight, but through the course of years you can come back and or hear a teen come back and say, I remember when you told me this and I did it and this is what happened and it's some great story. We had one teen in particular who had come to us um, through a referral. He had in the past year of his life uh, moved across the country. Faced, dealt with an overdose himself and dealt with the suicide of a friend. I just, I got to see him go from someone who was just discouraged about earth life to someone who was all out of his own volition volunteering beyond the court requirements. That change in him was really special for me. We do talk a lot about what teens are interested in or making sure that our spaces aren't 
spaces for children or aren't like younger kids or like for parents. We want it to be a space where teens feel comfortable. Um, we network with the schools quite heavily, so a lot of the school counselors and social work workers will refer teens to our programs and to us. Um, so we work real closely with the schools. We actually go into the schools, into some of the art classrooms. We'll collaborate with some of the other organizations that provide housing to teens, and we're able to um, get our teens housed um, at some of those organizations. So. We really pride ourselves on collaboration because we know we can't do it all, but if we work alongside community partners, um, our donors, um, friends of the community, we can get a lot accomplished. So we do um, a lot of collaborations. We have a website, tasknwa.org, T-A-S-C-N-W-A.org. Um, if people want to volunteer, we have a, like a separate link you can fill out. Or if you just want to read more about what our programs do, we have a whole program staff for that too. So it is a huge passion of ours to ensure that all 34,000 teens in Northwest Arkansas know that anything that you could need, help with physical resources, some place to stay, a friend to listen, counseling, or just somewhere to come play video games and eat Doritos, we are here and we want to see you and work with you and do life with you. We have lots of teens who come through our doors who in one way or another, we've been able to help them um, accomplish their dreams and their goals.